it's Subbuster here again with another gameplay slash commentary of C Call of Duty Black Ops, and that's not how I talk, but let's get started. This is a team deathmatch on firing range using the gold Enfield with reflex. My perk loadout currently is Flak Jacket Pro, Scout Pro, and Marathon Pro. Uh, another interesting th thing to mention is that I'm using the Law, the one-shot launcher, as my secondary. And I'll explain how that works in a little bit. It's kind of complicated. It works with Scout Pro as uh, kind of like a catalyst for my uh, kill streaks. Now, as you can probably tell, this video started a few minutes already into the game, and that's because nothing really good happens at the beginning of this game. We kind of get uh, on a slow start, no UAVs, you can't really get it going, but uh, we're down by a little bit over maybe about like 10 or 20 or so. So. Um, uh, we'll just see how it turns out. I don't post games where I lose, but, uh, you know, I think that would be pretty obvious. So I'm going to talk about this class that I'm using just a little bit more. There's two main differences. One of them is that I switch out Harden Pro for Scout Pro. And I also switch out the RPG for the Law Launcher instead. And the reason I do this is because I find it's a little more fluid of a class if I can just keep moving and drop guns as opposed to... Um, let's say reloading them. So I find Scout Pro a much more appropriate perk because I can call in my kill streaks faster, I can throw in my claymore faster, I can pull out a law launcher faster, drop it, pick up another gun. And doing this you get to know a lot more guns because I'm a player that's pretty fixed onto the end field. I know it's recoil really well, but if you threw me a commando I would have trouble uh, adjusting my aim after every shot. With that I also have to mention that I'm really growing towards the law over the RPG and uh, three different categories really it's a faster shot so you won't have to lead as much you won't have to do as many predictions and there's less room for error also there are um, there are there's only one shot and normally that would be a disadvantage to most people but but with the Scout Pro uh, setup I have no intentions of reloading at all it's just a fire and forget weapon so I can just pick up something else after I shoot it and it fires dead on it's, it's very very accurate I think more accurate than a lot of guns in most cases with that, I suggest you guys give this setup a try. Uh, like a lot of things in Call of Duty, there is a learning curve, but once you get it down, it's really rewarding, and it's a very fast-paced setup, which is something that I was looking for, but isn't terribly, I don't want to say overpowered, but there are some things that take a lot less effort to use in this game. This one does require some thinking, so I would suggest just trying it out. It's a lot of fun. Now as you can probably see, we were pretty well tied at the beginning of the last life that I had, but after that last life with the quad um, the quad law that I have and some good kill streaks, some good turns, we pulled a 10 point lead. And that's another thing that I'd like to talk about is just not giving up in the middle of the game. Uh, our team started out slow this game because we couldn't pull out UAVs, and I have a team that's heavily based on UAVs. If we can't, if we don't know where the enemy is, it doesn't really work out since I think only one person on our team actually uses Turtle Beach headsets, and I'm not one of them. So, uh, one of the things I'd like to mention is just playing smarter. As you noticed from the beginning of this game, I got killed by campers a lot, and there are counters to that. You just check your corners more carefully, you move slower, you move smarter. And that's one of the big reasons why Call of Duty players take it to the next level, it's because they're fluid players. They don't stick to one setup. They always have multiple options in their uh, create a class setups that they can use in order to counter other setups. Uh, like take for example if the enemy is using a lot of noob tubes, a lot of C4s, and a lot of launchers like I do, use a flak jacket setup. It's very very simple. It's a cheap investment and it's essentially a hard counter. There's nothing you can do much after using YouTubes if noob tubes, sorry, noob tubes after um, somebody flips on a flak jacket. So if they're using a lot of UAVs, flip on Ghost. Uh, the best players are going to be these proactive players. And the best part about that is that they don't have to be proactive long because the enemy is going to be on such a back foot that's not going to matter after that. Well, this gameplay looks like it's coming to an end. I believe I go 35 and 8. I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. And uh, leave any feedback you wish. I truly appreciate it. Thanks, guys.